What's up, everybody? It's me, your boy, the Fluffy Gamer. It's a new day. It's the last and final day of February. Today is Monday, no, Tuesday, February 28th. Tomorrow will be March. Already into March. Already. Just seemed like it was uh, January 1st the other day. Man, does time fly by the older that you get. But anyways, I went down to the Chula Vista area this week, or this week, today, and uh, started off at the Deseret, struck out over there. Oh, wait, no, I didn't start off over there. I started off at the Goodwill in Imperial Beach. That seems to be the place to go to. Uh, kind of reminds me a lot of the big-ass Goodwill. They're, they got a bunch of DVDs, Blu-rays, and they got a special where if you get five DVDs, it's only 10 bucks, so two bucks each. And uh, I went over there today. That was the first place that I hit up. And I actually found five DVDs. One of them's a double feature uh, two-pack, but uh, I had them combine that as the fifth one. So they marked it as four, and the lady was like, well, if you get one more, it's only 10 bucks. Otherwise, she was going to charge me three six nine twelve dollars so she wanted to try and save me two dollars by grabbing one more dvd but i just told her i said look um how about you just ring this up as two and then that will be a total of five dvds for the 10 because there was nothing else in the way of picking up that was worth anything grabbing but uh yeah this one they had marked for 4.99 which is still a pretty good deal 250 per movie great film kind of reminds me a little bit of indiana jones style type of movie uh with michael douglas kathleen turner and danny devito remember watching these in the theater really enjoyed it great films uh, and that is the double feature of romance in the stone and the jewel of the nile who remembers watching this flick very funny very funny entertaining movie i I don't remember if I have this one like in, as a double feature. I thought about maybe just grabbing this for myself. But it does seem like it, there's definitely a little bit of money to be had, to be made. It's in great shape. I've never seen this outer box before. This is very new. don't know how rare it is, but I have only seen one that is that has sold. I don't think there's... Was there one? There might have been one I saw that was available, but nice box outer box for the two movies these are obviously in great shape being inside the box whenever you buy like a, a special box set they always put a sticker over the upc codes the cases are in great shape as well as the inserts and disc it came out in like mid 80s i want to say great flick fun movie Romance of the Stone, as well as, I probably watched this one more than the first one, The Jewel of the Nile. Love Danny DeVito in this one. Complete, and the discs are in great shape. Beautiful. Might end up keeping this for myself. I do, you know, it's a lot of nostalgia for me. Being a kid, growing up in the 80s, really loving, liking, watching movies it was always a treat whenever you know it's usually my mom that took us out to the theater sometimes my aunt would take us to the movie theaters it was always fun times watched a lot of movies very entertaining there anyway, i picked that up and then i got three more items at the uh goodwill and imperial beach this one doesn't seem to go for too much maybe ten dollars maybe but i grabbed it anyways it's uh i think it's a miramax yeah this is a miramax movie uh, two thumbs up, delightful, a breezy charmer, funny. Starring Robert Redford. Yeah, and Miramax Films presents. So I guess Robert Redford uh, was part, part part of the production. And uh, so he's probably not in it, but he's part of the movie. And that is a movie called Strawberry and Chocolate. Strawberry and Chocolate. I've never seen or heard of this before. Looks like it'd be a fun watch. I might have to check this one out. Maybe if I got time. I don't watch as much movies as I would like to be watching. But, yeah, disc is in great shape. 
Yep, beautiful shape. I'm gonna have to give this one a watch. It looks like it'll be a fun one. Might have to check it out. It's fun to watch. It's good, good to watch a movie here and there though. Get your mind off of what's going on in in the real world, you know. But anyways, uh, the uh, this the next one I found. I think this is a. It's not a doctor. This is a movie. Uh, World War II ends and her story begins. Strand releasing presents a woman in Berlin. A film directed by Max Farberbach, based on the international bestseller says powerful, intelligent, impressive from the New York Times. A woman in Berlin going up on the bay. This seems to be going for at least 13 plus shipping. No insert, but disc is in great shape. Great shape. Going up on the bay. Going up on the bay. Uh, this one's kind of cool. Saw this. I was like, it might be worth something. I'm assuming this is, yeah, this has got to be a, a live concert. And that is with Weird Al Yankovic. Weird Al Yankovic. Who doesn't love Weird Al Yankovic? Very funny parodies of his songs. Uh, Amish Paradise. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see this guy live in concert. It's got kind of a thin, like, paperback style case. It's in good, it's in great shape. Disc is in amazing shape. This seems to be going for close to 20 bucks, 15 to 20 dollars. So great find right there over at the Goodwill in Imperial Beach. You're in that area, definitely highly recommend it. Go check out that store. They seem to be replenishing their movies and TVs and all that stuff. I've been there three times now and they've, they've been different stuff inside there. So definitely go check it out if you want to go see if you can find some good deals over there. Um, the next place that I went was a desert thrift store. Did not find anything inside there. Um, went over to the big ass Goodwill. Struck out again. Struck out again. And uh, ended up making my way. That's some Taco Bell. Just getting hungry. Got me the number nine, I think it is. The Mexican pizza with the two Taco Supremes. Delicioso. Delicioso. I haven't even touched my Diet Pepsi yet. But anyways... Had some dinner. They ended up going to another Goodwill. They had some new stuff in there. A lot of Blu-rays, brand new sealed, just nothing worth grabbing. A lot of them were like the same title, double features. Just wasn't worth anything. Wasn't worth picking up. But I did find one DVD inside there. Great movie. I remember liking this one. And that is a movie called Sling Blade. These have gone up in price. These are going for around 15 bucks. This case is in beautiful shape. Artwork's in great shape. It's complete. However, the disc does seem to have some minor scuffs. Very, very light scuffs on the, on the outer end. Um, I'm gonna have to clean it up. It does look a little dusty. But other than that, disc is in great shape. Going up on the bay. I've sold a few of these already. So if you, find, if you come across the Blu-ray, Blu-ray goes for like like 30 bucks, like twice as much. So if you can find a Blu-ray, grab that. All right, so that's all I got at that particular Goodwill. I ended up going, I skipped another Goodwill because I haven't been finding crap over there. So I basically skipped that one. And then I went to the Goodwill on the way back towards my house uh, in the San downtown uh, La Mesa area. And uh, I did find two titles. These are TV shows. These are both Mexican TV shows that are on HBO. Don't know anything about them, but they go for some money. So the first one I grabbed, Cappadocia, C-A-P-A-D-O-C-I-A. -A -A. Un lugar sin perdón. Really should have took Spanish class in high school. Yeah, HBO Latin America Originals. This is brand new, factory sealed, going up on the bay from HBO, TV, the HBO TV show, TV series. Had a mark for $4.99 right there, five bucks. Should be able to get at least 20 plus shipping. Going up on the bay. And the last and final find of the day is another HBO TV show, also in Espanol. And that is a TV show called 
Profugos. Profugos. F P R O F U G O S or dollar sign. Yeah. Looks like an action film. Maybe a crime. Something like that. Yeah. Profugos. Profugos. Brand new. Factory sealed. Another Spanish TV show. Both put out by the same company, RTC. I think that's the company's name. Yeah, RTC. Yep. Region 1, NTSC. Uh, region 1 and Region 4. Region 1 and Region 4. So I'm assuming Region 4 is probably Canada. Or not Canada, but Mexico. So both going up on the bay. Both worth about 20 bucks. Paid 5 bucks each. So $10 is going to turn that into 40 That's going to do it for today. Time to go get my car wash and go do some lifting. I got to make some money. See you guys on the next one. See you in March. Adios. February. See you next year. Bye-bye.